and VB's, uh, you got an update on Filthy for us? Yeah, um, look, I believe he had an MRI yesterday on his ankle, which has come back and there's no significant damage there. So we'll assess him later in the week um, as to whether he's going to be available this week. But um, the good news was, yeah, it was nothing significant. So hopefully he, he's still a bit sore getting around today. So hopefully over the next couple of days he frees up and gets himself in a position where he's, uh, he's either able to train enough to show us that he can play. But we'll, we'll know more of that later in the week. It's only Tuesday. So it's just... Sore, that's all. Sure, yeah, again, I don't understand the detail of the what actually was yeah. going on in there, but it's just, yeah, he's, he's sore and we'll, we'll definitely be in the mix later in the week. It's a huge boost. Have you yeah. had the uh, review? We had the review this morning, yep. How was that? Review was, was good. We got some good clarity from the weekend's game in terms of um, some aspects of the game we did really well, which allowed us to stay in the fight. I mean, with six and a half minutes to go, we're just over two goals down and right in the fight. Um, and unfortunately, we come away from the game with, this, with a, a big margin in the game, which um, I guess was reflective in some areas of our game and, and not so in others. So we, we came away today with understanding that some of our contest work was, was at the level, which we needed it to be, particularly around stoppage um, and some of our general play contests, which was important against a side like Gold Coast because that's where they pride themselves, as do we. So we kept ourselves in the fight in that regard. Um, there were some aspects of our game, whether it be with ball in hand or without ball in hand, so we're talking offence and defence where we weren't at the level. So uh, missing fundamental targets, um, not finishing off work that we need to, puts us under pressure, puts our backs under pressure. And then on the flip side, when we don't have the ball, um, our method and intensity to defend at times wasn't at the level that it has been. So um, we opened ourselves up to, to the result we got in the end. Contest stuff's been a, a, a big improve this year. Yep. Uh, yes, it has. We've made some inroads in our execution. The, the frustrating part is it's probably the final part of our execution where we're able to get ourselves in a position to finish the play um, and at times look like almost a, a lay-down score for us and we're not quite getting that done. So we feel that frustration as much as what our members and supporters do, the players do as well. Um, so we are training that a lot during the week, um, reviewing a lot of that vision-wise. So. The players and us as coaches, we understand where we're at in that regard and we're going to keep chipping away at it um, because I firmly believe once that, that penny drops for us and we get that connection piece and that cohesion and finishing off our work, um, you know, defensively we look better, offensively we look better and hopefully our contest remains where it is and we start to really round out our game. Are you worried about the kicking? Like, had a lot of missed targets. How do you go about it training that? It's just that simple 20 metre kick that it looks simple Hard on the yeah, under pressure is the, probably the, the key element of that and it's some of our handball on the weekend as well and that's the, the frustration whether it be a kick in front of goal or a kick to someone that, that's out ahead of the ball or not a kick to advantage or we miss an easy handball, opposition teams then make you, make you pay for it. So um, again, we're working really hard at that um, behind closed doors, up on the shed floor, uh, out on the training track. Um, you know, we put in um, a lot of minutes into our craft, um, more than I've seen it. You know, was at West Coast previously, uh, more than them. Um, I know other coaches have been in other clubs and said we do we do a lot more than where they've been as well. So it's, um, I guess, comforting for us to know that we're putting the work in. It's just a matter of when that that wheel will start turning in the in that direction for us to to get our reward for effort because the boys are putting the effort in. With respect, is is there maybe more of a need to put in that effort than some of those clubs you've got, you've mentioned because those those skills are already at that level? Oh, with that, oh, different demographic of group, yeah, absolutely. There's there's an argument to be made for that. Um, but uh, in terms of putting as much as you can in during the week, our boys are doing that. So that's that's all we can ask. Were you, um, on form reflection, a bit handball happy, do you think? Is there a directive from some of your key ball winners? I mean, Lead has 40 and 25 yep. on the handball place Is there a, a correction that needs to be made there, do you think? At times, yeah. At times, there, there was times where we definitely could have gone at the game uh, better than what we did. And there were also times where we've been working out to to get our ball carrier in a better position to execute, where our hands allow us to do that. So um, you could make the same argument the week before against West Coast, where we had some, some high handball numbers in tricky conditions. But you know, looking back over that game, there wasn't too many times where I reflected and went, hey, Lady or whoever it is in the midst, let's try and go at the game a bit more. That used that balance well. So to answer your question, it's a balancing act for us. And we're still working through that because it's an element of our game where we need to to get our guys in better positions to execute and the hands will allow us to do that. So yeah, we'll, we'll find that balance.
there's um, it feels like there's a, a greater deal of frustration around fans in recent weeks, VB, and and we constantly hear that you're better this time than you were last year. Obviously, because guys are a bit older and they've got a bit more experience, and whether fans or so are content with that answer. But can you just tell us a few reasons about why you think that to be true when it hasn't translated to on-field results? Yeah, I guess it's it's easy to look at at win loss and at times even margin in games. Um, you know. For example, on the weekend, maybe the Port Adelaide game, maybe St Kilda. I'm trying to think back to a number of games that were close, and we've been we've consistently said we've been in the fight right up until you know the last quarter, which has been really pleasing. Uh, it wasn't always the case last year, um, but there's also, I guess, at that stage in the game, we're we're a club that wants to win, and you know we sit there and we go, okay, we want to teach these boys winning habits. So at that stage in the game, do we? Do we almost at times roll the dice to try and win the game, which might mean strategically opening the game up, which we've done a number of times. You know, Port Adelaide's a classic where we did, and we get on the right side of the ledger and, and have, a, have a win that our fans would be really proud of. On the weekend, yet yeah, we open the game up in different regards and it goes the other way. So um, there's arguments can be made, OK, yeah, we lose by 43 points. We're in it with six, I think it was six minutes to go, thereabouts. OK, do we just have an honourable loss or do we, do we go about trying to win the game? And, we're, in a, we're trying to instil winning behaviours in the boys. Um, it is deflating to go down the way that we did, and there's definitely things we need to do better. Don't get me wrong, we're not accepting the margin that happened, but there's strategic elements we do try and manoeuvre as coaches and as players to, to put ourselves in the fight and give ourselves the best chance of winning. So um, to back to your question around where we're at as a group, I firmly believe our system is in better shape this time of year compared to where we were last year. And I'm talking our team defence, um, consistency with our contests um, and where we're at with our offence. While we're not necessarily getting rewards in all those areas, the cohesion across lines has been more consistent and there's a greater understanding. Due to the fact that we've been together for 12, 18 months now, the coaching group as well as players with another year under their belt. But um, that's where I see the improvement, which puts us in games for longer. And yeah, we need to get those those wins that we want more than anyone, uh, as our fans and supporters do, and we're working towards that. So that six minute blowout, that's more a result of trying to win the game rather than a white flag sort of situation? On the weekend, there were some efforts yeah, we weren't proud of, um, but there was definitely a, a discussion had around, let's let's try and win this game. And yeah, we have levers that we can pull to, to open the game up. So a bit of both on the weekend. Do you feel like the Yeah, look, it's, a, it's an ongoing conversation we're having around our, our mix in the midfield because um, we've got guys that have got some real inside strengths, guys that are, can provide us some run and, and dash on the outside um, at both levels. Um, so we have that conversation week to week at a match committee around what the best balance is for us. You mentioned Sam Berry. I thought he was um, really strong for us on the weekend and he's been one that's been really working hard on getting that inside to outside game and using the power and strength that he's got. And to see the improvement from him from 18 games in his first year to, to where he is now, just, you know, it's almost the game I've been, I've been hoping he can, he can play on the weekend. He got reward for effort because he's getting more and more confident, exposure on ball. Jake Saligo is another one that's come in and played some wing minutes for us and held up really strongly. Um, and at different stages, we'll try and get him looks in and around the ball as well because, you know, our, our fans and supporters see how clean and composed he is with ball in hand. And... For a small guy, he's a tough little bugger, so um, he's one that we'll definitely get some exposure to down the track. But those conversations have been had week to week, so expect that mix to, to be discussed and there'll be changes, whether it be this week, next week, weeks moving forward, to, to try and get that balance right. Talk about um, all their strengths. What's, um, what are Matt Crouch's strengths and, and what do you think are his work on this? Oh, I think it's pretty obvious what his strengths are. It has been since day dot, his ability around the contest, his uh, contested ball winning ability, his ability with, with ball in hand to, to find that target when he's at his best is definitely where in his All-Australian year was where he was very consistent. So that's, a, that's where Matt's strengths lie and it's where I encourage him as his line coach to say, need you to bring your strengths, OK? And um, outside of that, work-ons, he's like a lot of our midfielders at times, his ability to, to transition the game. 
and midfielders have a, a unique challenge of they've got to transition 360 all the time, offence, defence, offence, defence, and the most consistent mids are able to, or what we want to build our mids to be able to do is to be able to do that consistently both ways. So um, it's a good discussion I had with the midfield group this morning was around our ability to, to do that more consistently because we've got the cattle that we can do that. How much pressure it is on now to make sure that you don't have the same performance against North Melbourne when obviously you've seen the, the uproar from some of the fans in the last game. How much, you know, you can talk about this transition and making sure you do better. How much pressure is there now to make sure you go out there and perform what you're saying? Um, I think there's more of an expectation internal. I to be honest, I haven't heard the external noise, but um, internally, the disappointment from from being in a position to win the game and walking off the guys feeling like, geez, we should have won that game of footy on the weekend because of missed opportunities. And then even seeing today how we can do things a lot better in terms of the way we go about our system. Um, the boys have pride in their footy. We have pride in the way that we play and um, we'll expect a response for that reason. Um, so we'll go about getting back to work as we have been doing, been doing well and we're building, a, building our game to a point where hopefully we keep putting ourselves in a position to be like we were on the weekend with five or six minutes to go. Hopefully it's not at that stage, but if it is, yet we do it better next time. Just another on Bill Paul. If he doesn't get up to yep. the ankle on the weekend, is it as simple as a Gallant or a Himmelberg getting another crack, or will we have a, a, a good look at Fisher Mackesy after another good game? Oh, that's, yeah, again, we'll catch up later today, tomorrow, around what that looks like, giving Filthy every chance to get up this weekend, obviously. Um, and there's the other option too, we could could go small as well. So we haven't had those discussions, but all those names you mentioned will definitely be um, discussed. Um, the good thing is at the moment, at this NFL level, we've got guys playing some, some strong footy, and that's meant that we've made changes uh, over the last five or six weeks based on form and based on getting guys in. So that's the... The one, uh, I guess, consistent thing we've had this year is around that consistency of performance from beneath, which we need. How would you describe the way players received the review this morning? I guess you'll have to ask them, but yeah, I think it was... Were they embarrassed? Was it confronting? Were they... Do they care? Oh, they care. I know yeah. they care. I'm yeah. suggesting they don't care. I'm just asking how would you describe how they received it? Oh, look, our review was... Our reviews each week are... Uh, a balance. Like we try not to, as best we can, not ride the wave of emotions around win-loss, um, internal, external expectation. It's around, OK, this is what we did well, what we didn't do well, where we need to get better. And today was no different. Yeah, there were some uncomfortable moments today, as there were a couple of weeks ago as well. So that's the nature of the environment. So, yep, we had our review. We know what we need to work on. And our boys are already getting back to work. So, um, like most reviews, today was no different. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks,